All right, um, back. Going to do another guitar, or going to do a guitar lesson. It's been a while. Uh, this one, I f um, I'm going to do uh, "Blackjack" by Airborne, and uh, this is a pretty easy song, but it really rocks. So it's great for you know beginners and uh, just people who want to rock. So uh, let me just go through the intro and uh, the chorus riff which is the main riff of the song real quick. Then I'll go break it down and then after that I'll go through the, the verse and the one part that's the uh, rhythm part that's before the solo. And then that should cover the whole song. So, intro. Oops. up here and break it down. So this is the, uh, the first part is the intro. Basically what you want to do is uh, roll your volume on your guitar. See so volume knob like this down to uh, to about like halfway or something. Maybe even down to four or something. But um, you're gonna play this little chord. Whoops. That and what that basically is is uh, fifth fret G string, uh, the fourth fret B string, and an open E. And you're gonna play a little pattern that's going then right when you hit that note, you're rolling uh, that power chord, you're rolling up your volume. So breaking that down. So you, I'm getting the, my using my ring finger, getting the G string fifth fret. Uh, my in, uh, middle finger getting the uh, fourth fret uh, B string, and high E is just ringing like that. So you're gonna play a pattern that goes. You're gonna go uh, G string, then a high E, then B, then G, and then B, and then E and then B. Then you're just gonna do, then you're gonna do high e, uh, G string. You're just gonna go back, and then, then you're gonna hit the uh, uh, fifth fret B string and uh, E string. I'm just barring it with my index finger. And right when you hit that note, roll up your volume. So it's gonna go. That's the intro. All right. So now uh, you want to play the main riff of the song that goes over the chorus. So it's going to go. Uh, you're going to do index finger uh, third uh, third fret A string. Pull off to an A, and then another A, and then you're going to hit a D power chord. Which is basically like that, D, like a regular D shape, except for I'm removing my uh, middle finger and really playing the A string, low A string. Well, actually, there's no other A string. Just playing the four middle strings to get that heavy power chord sound. So it's just going to go. Then you're going to go back to the A string, uh, third fret fret, which is a C, bend up a little bit, and then an A chord. And I'm just uh, barring with my index finger on the D, uh, G, and B strings, second fret. So, you get that little riff. And after that, you want to go immediately to a G chord. And this G is not going to be like a typical G, it's going to be, uh, actually I'm just going to get the low E string, 3rd fret, and um, open D, open G, 
uh, third fret uh, with ring finger on the uh, B string and third fret with the pinky on the E string. So you get this and I'm just muting the A string. I'm actually not even playing that major third sound. So it's just going to get a, it's going to sound heavier. Then immediately, immediately after the uh, G chord, you play a D chord. Just the same kind of D we've been playing through the main riff. So you don't really hear that note, so you just hear the that sound. So you're going to get... The second time through, you go back to a G after the end of it. So slowly it's just going to sound... That's, uh, that's pretty much the main riff. Now the verse. Here's a demonstration of the verse. So it's going to go. So, the verse, it's kind of long, but uh, it's definitely pretty cool. So this one is uh, kind of like the same thing, again, pull off from the uh, third fret A string, but except for instead of going to a D, you go into an A, an a chord. But, um, after, let's see, two times, I think. So you're gonna go. You go back into the, the D chord, so it's going. So at the end, I just go. You, um, going into a G to a D, so G to a D, then to a C9, then to a D, then to an E, then back to a G. So it's pretty straightforward. I'll just I'm just gonna go really slow. So that D, just to reiterate, it's kind of just doing the same thing, except for you're barring your index finger on the second fret, uh, getting the, the second fret D and A strings, and you're pulling off on the third fret um, low E string, then to a G. And then it goes back into the main riff. Now, uh, the last part actually is right before the solo, and it's pretty much the same as everything else, but it's uh, basically you're just going... It's in, it switches to the key of E, so you're just going... And then the solo plays over the main riff. So that, um, I'm just, just really just playing the main riff, except for going to it, it's in the key of E now. So I'm just pulling off on the same kind of muscle memory. 
to an A chord, to an E, barred like this, uh, then to a D, to an A. And just the same D I've been playing, same A I've been playing. And that's all we do. There's no, uh, there's no uh, going back to the D right after it like we did in the main riff. It's just doing the. And then after, so it's going to do it four times. But on the fourth time, you're just doing. So that's just a. To a G, to a D. So that's that's pretty much um, pretty much all the song is. Uh, and then there's a solo. Just you know, uh, I didn't I didn't learn it, but uh, you know you can just you know just use the A minor pentatonic scale is basically what they're doing, and um, uh, you know create your own solo. It's it's a nice hard rocking song. So uh, yeah. Uh, Hope this has been helpful, and uh, you know, feel free to check out my other videos. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all the song. So uh, see you next time. Uh, this is my new guitar. It's a Samic TV20. It kicks ass. It's not new. It's old, but I got it on eBay, and I love it. It's awesome. All right. See you later.